Hey guys, Jengar here. Welcome to today's realistic review in which we are taking a look at the American AM1 Mauler sitting at 5.7 battle rating in rank 4. Quite a versatile plane we have here with some good qualities to function in a wide range of roles and modes. It has an air start as an attacker and from that air start it can climb fairly well. <coughs> it's not great. It's, it's average, but for, for an attacker, an average climb rate is, um, in a general sense, quite good because most uh, attackers don't have uh, an, an average uh, climb rate. Most of them uh, climb fairly badly. So with that air start and an average climb rate, that is, that is okay. You can actually select uh, a, um, a no weapons, no uh, armament um, setup for this plane. So you can just take her out as a pure fighter as well. And you also have an air brake on this plane, which functions uh, very well. It's a good air brake, very solid, and you can definitely use that in an emergency if you get jumped on to make the um, overshoot happen sooner. It does take away a lot of your speed, but uh, in an emergency it's quite handy. And of course, as an attacker in the dive, you can, uh, you can use that as well. Um, let's get into the details of the plane and see what she can do. Um, before we do that, make sure to like the video, leave me a comment, that really helps me out. Do make sure to subscribe, of course, if you haven't yet. There's a lot more content on the way, working on American Rank 4 as we speak. And also check out the description for links to my Discord, if you want to interact with me. And um, for the links to uh, Rumble and Locals. Now this plane, and when it comes to speed, it is not very fast. I have to say that on on the deck, it is slower than the Invader, for example, that we reviewed a couple of days ago. <coughs> it is uh, at sea level without web 505 kilometers an hour and with web 526. At 4500 meters, she's slightly faster with web, but without web 438, with web 400. 60 and finally at 6500 meters she will take you to 393 without web and 400 kilometers an hour with web this is in indicated airspeed without mech now this um, is not great speed any fighter will catch up with you easily at the battle rating and uh, thus you should not uh, go for engagement in a straight line you will always be caught in that sense in a dive she's not uh, terribly bad but not exceptional either top speed in the dive is 765 before she redlines and 815 before she rips apart now those speeds are okay I guess for an attacker I mean we can't complain too much right I mean it's not a pure fighter um, control stiffening kicks in quite late you do have decent to good roll rate to start off with so the control stiffening in the aileron starts off at around 600 kilometers an hour and you get a second small tick at 700 but it stays fairly functional up until the rip speed so in a dive this plane is capable of getting the guns on target as there is very little compression the elevator compression is also <coughs> very acceptable so you can easily get out of the dive which is um, very important when you are diving <laughs> and this plane can definitely boom and zoom uh, when it comes to that stall speed is quite good with 120 kilometers an hour you have very good firepower the plane runs with four 20 millimeter t31 cannons with 200 rounds they are placed in the wings so uh, i use a convergence of uh, 600 meters in this um, in this plane and usually i do that for uh, american wing mounted guns because I want to stay relevant if I have to take a head-on uh, with 300 or 400 meters you lose all that relevance and I usually start firing a little bit sooner than um, <coughs> than 4 or 300 meters so yeah I like 600 meters it, it works for me uh, the belts I used were the universal belt as it has a 50-50 uh, high explosive fragmentation incendiary shell with an armor piercing tracer shell but you can also use uh, all the other uh, belts exactly, uh, but uh, not all actually, uh, quite. Uh, there is two belts that have a practice shell in them, which is the ground belt with uh, two times APT, a heavy and a practice shell. And the stealth uh, belt has also a practice shell with three uh, heavies and one practice shell. 
So I prefer not to take those practice shells because they are less effective. Uh, air belt though has a heavy, an APT and then two times heavy, so that is the mo most uh, high explosive filler there. The universal belt has a 50-50 split and the uh, default belt has three times heavy and one time APT. But uh, DEF, UNI and air belt uh, belts uh, <coughs> are all um, viable. The other two have practice shells in them and I wouldn't uh, use them myself. This plane also has, uh, as I said, the uh, ground pounding options. It has uh, bomb loads, uh, rockets and torpedoes. For the rockets it has uh, HVAR rockets and Tiny Tims. And the, um, b the bombs have uh, 3 times 2000 pounds, <coughs> 3 times 1000 pounds, 12 times 100 pounds, 3 times 250 pounds. And you also have 3 times 1000 pounds mines. And you have a setup where you can take three torpedoes actually, not one, not two, but three, which is quite the amount. Might be very nice uh, for naval actually, this plane. But uh, I'll leave that up to you uh, naval guys to uh, let me know in the comments how good this thing is in naval. Three torpedoes, it sounds very good to me, but uh, as I said, I'm not a naval player, I just uh, mainly focus on air. The uh, firepower, as I said, was just very good. Uh, the ammo load with 200 rounds is, is, is all right, right? It's um, maybe decent. The acceleration in the plane in a straight line is also decent. In a dive, it's good. Energy retention is not too great. In the horizontal, it's above average. In the vertical, it is average. <coughs> Climb rate is also no more than average, but the air start uh, makes it uh, it all right the start position is then decent but you still will have to side climb if you want to use this plane in the pure fighter role which i did a couple of times it was uh, actually quite nice with the firepower very effective turn time uh, in the plane is uh, average above average with flaps and the flaps rip off at around 480 kilometers an hour which is already very quickly reached in a straight line even at um, higher altitudes so you gotta be careful when you deploy those flaps the roll rate is uh, decent uh, it is good actually between 400 and 600 kilometers an hour <coughs> but what you gotta take into account at the higher speeds it does roll a little bit off center above 500 kilometers an hour so you do have a great roll but when you want to get the guns on target at uh, above 500 kilometers an hour you have to be aware of that uh, off-center roll i think it's probably the rudder and um, it is present so but it's not as pronounced for example as in the uh, mustangs which are basically ruined because of their rudder problem at high speed which that which they need to be at but this plane has a little bit of that not too much though <coughs> and you are less frequently on that speed because if you take a turn or two you will already have lost enough speed to be well away from the 500 kilometer range overall maneuverability is then decent the overheating in this plane is not an issue it does uh, overheat a little bit with web usage but it cools off fairly quickly so that that's all right no problem durability in the plane is also decent can take a hit or two it's not the most sturdy plane in the world but it's it's uh, it's outperforms most uh, fighters except of course uh, Thunderbolts and uh, Corsairs which are just very very sturdy. The repair cost in this plane is great. <coughs> it has a 5940 silver line repair cost. It is one of the best at this battle rating so that is actually great. Rewards in the plane then are for the research points a 344 percent modifier with a 1.72 multiplier and the Silver Lion rewards are a 240% modifier with a 1.6 multiplier. The RP is average <coughs> and the Silver Lion rewards are unfortunately below average. Now as I said that is compensated a little bit with the repair cost which is great. <coughs> if you get damaged or destroyed it won't cost you that much. So you will always be able to get a profit but then the rewards you get for your performance is actually average or below average so yeah it, it's not great when it comes to that unfortunately not a great grinder but uh, it's a bit uh, meh when it comes to that boom and zooming is the role in this plane if you want to take her clean without any loads and want to use her as a fighter you can be quite a surprise factor with the uh, 
for 20 millimeters and she can perform the cas role very well as well so close air support uh, and I would say she is one of the better ones at the battle rating because she can really do a variety of modes with the three torpedoes in um, naval and with the great bomb loads or rocket loads in uh, ground RV with the 20 millimeters added to that I think this plane can do very well in both naval and ground RB and in air RB as I said I had a great amount of fun as well as this plane does perform uh, quite well for an attacker uh, both on columns and on uh, enemy fighters which are often surprised by the maneuverability that you have and um, will often come from above and they are easily um, made to overshoot let's say which is uh, can be a lot of fun as I said even <laughs> As I said, man, this uh, this zero and and 190s, it's it's just uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. You can outmaneuver the 190 and you can outgun the uh, the zero. <coughs> it's uh, it's good fun. Yeah, this this maneuver might not have been the best, but yeah, you also make mistakes. And I was still finding out the maneuverability in the plane and what it actually can do. And so you see, in a loop, she she's not great against the uh, 190 which also doesn't have the greatest uh, elevator control it's, it, it's about equal towards, uh, towards that when it comes to loops that is the vertical performance which is average in a turn, in a pure turn she is a little bit better when it comes to that so yeah man, the uh, Moller is a plane that you should definitely visit she is very much worth of your time uh, as a, if you are an attacker and you want to take a plane out into this um, into these modes uh, she's one of the better ones to, to take out actually for um, for rank 4 in America I think probably the best when it comes to that if you also want to take on uh, you want to have a, a versatile role which can also take on fighters once you drop off your bombs it is uh, definitely the best because the A26 cannot uh, compete when it comes to facing fighters and the tiger cat cannot really compete when it comes to taking on um, ground targets so uh, all in all I think uh, this plane is the most versatile you should definitely visit her take your time to get to know her and uh, have a bit of fun all right so let's have a look at the scoreboard of the three kill match <coughs> we've got the uh, well, we got a reward. We've got Terror of the Sky, 20,000 Silver Lions. I'll see you in the conclusion. Hey guys, so here we are after the match. Now, as I said, great attacker, great versatility, both in modes as in what you can do in a match. You can actually perform the ground attacking and then actually take on fighters as well with a good chance to come out alive, which is great. Good air start, nice air break. Great guns, good performance in a dive up to about 500 kilometers an hour. Then you start to get that roll off center, which come becomes pronounced after the 600 kilometers an hour range. But um, a good firepower, nice maneuverability, and um, I, I quite like the plane. And w when it comes to the repair costs, it compensates for the rewards. As I said, at the moment the repair costs are st or the uh, the economy is still screwed. So let's see what Gaijin does. Uh, supposedly on the 14th they're going to do something to fix it. I'm very curious to see what it will happen. But um, you will still get a steady stream of income from this plane, and um, it's a joy to fly. And it's very versatile in the modes: naval, ground, air, RB, all, all viable modes for this plane. It can pick up uh, all kinds of loads with it when it comes to the torpedoes, the bombs, the rockets and with the guns. It's just a very nice package, this plane. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button, become part of this community. If you are already a subscriber, don't forget to like the video, do leave me a comment and if you really feel like helping out today, Make sure to share the video with your friends and let them know about the channel.